Hello and welcome to another Watch Report video review. My name is James Stacey and today I'll be your host as we take a closer look at the Timex Military Classic PVD. This is one of the hottest cheap watches available on the market today and uh, if you're not looking to spend big money on a watch this should likely be on your radar for your next purchase. The Timex Military Classic PVD falls into the Expedition range as you can see on the dial there. It's a 45.5 millimeter wide watch. It's very large, has a very large face thanks to its very discreet bezel style, 12.8 uh, millimeters tall, 52.5 millimeters uh, lug to lug, so it's not too too big, but if you have a small wrist it might be a bit big, and uh, 22 millimeter uh, lugs for your strap. It's a three hand quartz, a fairly simple style watch, uh, PVD uh, coated stainless steel case, you get a mineral crystal with no anti-reflective coating, it's an indigo backlight, uh, which is you know signature to a Timex model, 100 meter water resistant as the crown does not screw down and uh, this model lists for 100 US um, but the street price is much closer to about 75 let's take a closer look military and pseudo military styling is kind of all the rage right now really popular and uh, these Timexes have been seeing really successful sales uh, and uh, a fan base among those that may not normally turn to a Timex for their next watch. You get this great kind of uh, World War II derived style, but they've added some additional dial rings. So you get your chapter ring for minutes, uh, then the 24 hour scale, and then the hour scale, and then you kind of get this metallic centerized area, which is actually where the indigo comes into play. But I'll have to show you that in a moment as if you've used a uh, Timex watch with Indiglo, they aren't especially bright, but it's a very even backlighting, and it's not bright enough to annoy anyone else. It's generally done very nicely. Uh, from a case standpoint, it's a pretty simple case. Uh, it's not especially well finished, but again, we're talking sub $100 here. You do get this really nice uh, knurled finish, knurled finish, and it gives it quite a bit of grip when it's on your wrist. It's a very comfortable watch. It has short lugs, and uh, works really well on the Zulu. Uh, the model brand new from the stores comes with kind of a canvas style uh, sport strap, something a little different than this, not a one piece. When we get in nice and close for a macro shot, you will notice a few things. One, and this is just on this model, uh, you'll see a crack in the luminous paint on the minute hand. Right about here. Uh, so that crack, uh, I assume, came either from a previous owner or direct from the factory. Um, when you pick yours up, just take a look at it before you get it. It really shouldn't be a problem. It's not something I've ever encountered on another watch, but it will be visible in the video, so we thought we'd bring it up. Uh, the dial itself is lovely. You get beautiful details, nice printing. It's very legible, and uh, the hands are coated in a luminous material that doesn't glow for very long or very brightly to begin with. Um, not really important as you have the, uh, the indigo black lighting right behind those hands. Uh, which is something we'll show you now. Alright, so here's the Military Classic. We've got one light left on here, so let's kill that. And there's your Indiglo there, so it's activated by pressing down the crown. Uh, the crown otherwise is a pretty simple one out for your date, two out for your time. If you press it in, you get the uh, backlighting, which I really like. I've liked Indiglo since I was a kid. Uh, I think it's an excellent feature and a perfect way to augment a quartz watch. If you're going to be buying quartz, you should get something more than you would get on an entry level automatic and in this that feature is Indiglo. Really nice, you don't get the auto EL that you'd see on a G-Shock where if you lift your wrist it activates it, you do have to press the button but given the styling of the watch uh, too much tech would likely clutter up uh, the design which is like they say kind of military derived and supposed to be kind of a classic looking piece. Here's the Timex Military Classic, uh, the PVD version on wrist uh, very comfortable watch. It is a little large. If you're not if you're not really looking for a piece that exceeds you know 42, 43 millimeters, this will be too big. Uh, but it's not especially uncomfortable. I have a seven and a half inch wrist, and uh, I've really enjoyed wearing it. I, I I like the really simple and easy to read dial. I like uh, that you get the minute uh, scale on the chapter ring. I love the Indiglo. Uh, the date is white text on a black dial, which is perfect. Um, it's a comfy watch, it's a stylish watch, uh, we actually think it's likely one of the best values as far as cool per dollar, generally you have to spend quite a bit of money to get a cool watch. Um, I don't know for how long these will be cool, but currently uh, a military watch like this, especially if you want to throw it on something like a NATO or a Zulu, 
that's a pretty uh, pretty nice way to wear around a larger uh, watch with some vintage styling. So like I said, uh, these retail for about $100, but it looks like street price such as Amazon or in-store is closer to $75. Uh, at that price point, you're looking at um, less than some cell phone bills, less than a good dinner out. Uh, and at that point, it's a great watch. It's a lot of fun. It'd uh, make a perfect beater or uh, a nice daily wear. Unfortunately, there's no option for a bracelet, but uh, you would be able to suit many different leather straps to a style like this. So for Watch Report, my name's James Stacy, and this has been our video review of the Timex Military Classic PBD. Thanks very much for watching.